What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Nosferatu in third person. That's us. We're Mikey and Chris. What's going on? What's going on, Chris? Season two, Mikey. That's what's going on. Nosferatu that's season right. two. We're we're in it. We're doing it. Um, yeah, this was uh, pretty cool. What did you uh, real quick? What'd you think about it? Tell me. Uh... Uh, I guess we kind of see. I mean, what's the title of episode one? Bad episode mother. one is Bad Mother. So, and I yeah, think we... Vic did everything in this episode to make us believe the title of episode one. Yeah, no, this is true. You know what? Listen, go through a lot of shit, but yeah, before we get into anything, there's one thing I want to, I want to, I want to bring up to you before we start all this for this whole season. So now you didn't read the book yet, right? No. Okay. So I read the book between seasons one and two, right? Uh So I see this differently. Okay. So I, what I want to know from you, Mikey, is Mm. how you are perceiving the flow of the story okay? okay obviously they can't do every single little detail of the book we get that but yeah for me this episode was almost like a it went from scene to scene like okay. it didn't really flow too well it was kind of just like a series of scenes for me because i know what happens like i know where they yeah. go so so unfortunately i'm gonna end up like you know comparing the things yeah. like well it's like, very much like walking dead how we always compared the comic to the show and what happens to certain characters that happens right a little different the book or it's a, it's, it's i feel like it's a little different only in that the book is a very i mean not that the comic isn't very but the comic was very broad and like i feel like it was a like the a comic is a, is a lot broader there's a lot more things happening but the book is 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 scenes in a book right so yeah for example this so in the book as well she she's getting these it's essentially the same thing where she's getting you know we're finding out her life and wayne's eight years old now and she's with lou and she loves him kind of she doesn't she does she's kind of happy that he saved her blah 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 you know but then she starts to hear she find they find out that Manx is dead. She starts to hear the phones again. Like all that stuff does happen, but it's like again for me, it was like yeah. so. So I'll well, probably. See, I mean, we'll see. I guess we'll, well see I'll how. Ask the... you, I want to. So I want to know, like you know, did you think that this flowed well enough that you got what was happening as opposed to just being? No, I mean, yeah, no, I, I don't necessarily think it didn't flow well, but I can kind of see how it. There was like a breakdown between like scene to scene but i mean no i don't i don't necessarily think that there was any kind of issue or a flow issue of the episode i think the episode overall was good it's creepy um i mean we saw we saw many we, we saw christmas land we saw what's what bing is going on we saw vic's life we've seen uh maggie, manx we've seen- manx we saw maggie so I mean, listen. This is kind of what happens up. in in first episodes and in, in luckily there weren't that many characters. <laughs> well, I mean, like a, like what I'm, my point to you is, and, and how you felt about the comparison of the book. Let's see. This is only episode one, so let's see if there'll be any changes or things that they may not necessarily be able to mm. do on the show that they did in the book, or you, you know what I mean. So I guess maybe we'll see if things change. So that's a question that you can have throughout this this season. Right, exactly. You know, and those are questions that you can, or just, just you can just let us know what you're thinking. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to read it um, too. But speaking of questions, we yeah. actually have some, don't we? Yes, we do. Um, I'll give you the first one. This is from Jesse. Okay. She says, um, "Why is Maggie seizing uh, when she's using the tiles?" And we obviously see her reluc- reluctance, reluc- reluctance reluctance yeah <laughs> when when um vic talks to her and and asks her um to use the tiles earlier in the episode so why do you think that maggie's having these these seizures or whatever you'd like you'd call them well right so i think i think because it's like when did she ever seize before when using her tiles but i think it's been i think what happens is that we know that when she uses her tiles, she stutters again, remember? Yeah. So yeah. we know that that comes back whenever she uses the tiles. But she's out of practice. So I think she knew because she made that phone call. Oh, the you know the wacky yeah. girl with the purple hair yeah. is, is having a seizure or something like that. And then she did it, checked, and then she had the seizure and then fell over. 
So I but think then, it's because. But then, how would she know if she's not using if she's not using them? How would she know it's something that severe would happen? Because she, Mikey, because she knows her power. She's used it before, and she don't but forget. She's never sees. Like We've that. never seen her, but she told she told Vic. She's like, it's taken me a long time. If you remember, she's like, it's taken me a long time to to control this. She's like, it used to be worse. She's like, but now I just get a little bit of a stutter. When they first met in the library, and she and she showed her. If you remember that conversation, it went it went something like that. So she's and and plus I'm remembering from the book. She when she you when she's in constant practice of her powers, mm -hmm. it, she only just ends up stuttering. But the fact that she hasn't used them in a while, she okay. knew. Okay, well this is gonna hurt. So yeah, I All think right. I think that's what it was. Um, right. Yeah. So so I think if we the more we see her use them this season. Her powers, so I mean, less and less right. severe. She won't be seizing and stuff like that. Okay. She will probably right. stutter. Uh, yeah. So the next question is from John S. He says, "Why couldn't the kids survive after leaving Christmas Land?" Mm. Um, and and in addition to that, did the children know where the portal was? So going with part one of that question, why? Yeah. Why couldn't they survive? I think maybe it has something to do with with Max. Um, maybe because of his condition. I mean, obviously, Christmas Land was still lit up while he was in the coma. But um, I'm just thinking maybe it has, has to do more about the kids just don't have that ability to, to go through the different realms. Well, even if even if Manx was alive or not, I don't think they're meant to go through. Well, right. That's that's where I was going to say, like, first, those kids aren't real. Like. They're, they're real. real but they're they were real, taken but, from the real world. Right, but they live in inside an inscape. And he can Okay, we don't know all the rules. This is here's the problem. We don't know all the rules. Yeah. Like we don't you know, no, nowhere have we ever seen, oh, you can leave an inscape. I mean, you know, the the, the creators can leave inscapes in and out because it's their Yeah, like inscape. they were the ones that made the warp. Like, right, they made the by using the knife. I, you know, but the fact that these yeah. kids, they're kept there by that's what once they're there, they they can't leave. They just can't leave. So yeah. we just never saw it before. And the yeah. fact that Manx did die, he's dead. Manx died. Yeah. He's dead. Right? But at that moment, the, the he was dying the, probably, and then well, he was in the coma because that's why. Right, but we the, we saw we, when we get when we see him, he's already dead, and like his body's been you know, autopsied and stuff. So, you know, which we'll get to in a second, but yeah. So, you know, I think, I think because one, because my Manx wasn't alive at the time mm -hmm. or, or whatever, because the lights all went out, which means he obviously dead. And, you know, it's weird because the motor, the, the wraith, it all went by, it all went by the wraith originally. Remember? Cause well, no, at the end his, of, no, his survival, his was knife, the, that, don't forget his wraith is his, his knife. His, his knife is the wraith. The wraith is what but makes him live or die. Well, it, no, it helps transfer the... Okay, it's listen, so weird, listen, dude. It's listen, like... listen. At the end of season one, he was in the coma in the hospital, right? As soon as the guy, the mechanic, started the battery the car, in, right. he woke up, and that's how the season ended. No, no, so now right. this whole what thing I'm is they is... took the engine out but he was still he he was still living off of life support by this coma. Right. Finally, he just crapped out, and that's what made the lights and the th and, and Christmas well, land. Well, right, right. Because what the I'm, car was already had no engine in. So correct. It wasn't but what I'm that. saying is, there's this weird connection because of he, because he's been using it for like a hundred years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This weird connection between his lifeline, his his lifeline are the children that he drains through his knife. You understand? And then he uses yeah. his knife to get to his inscape. It's just all, it's weird. It's weird. Again, we don't know all the rules to this yet. And, you know, so we just have to deal with it, you know? And then yeah. as far as did the kids know where that portal was, I, I mean, I, I'll probably, probably probably say no only because they followed the sound of the kids who were getting closer yeah. to it. So yeah. they kind of like found each other, and it almost seemed like those blocks, like the leather blocks, were like like almost like a border wall kind of mm -hmm. a thing, you know. That maybe it's like they don't necessarily ever go that far, but but yeah, what right. what what why is it so? Why does this scenario happen? That maybe I mean, my point is is 
why is it this one time that they heard these other kids from the real world? Like, is this something that they've, they, they seem like they never dealt with this before. So why well, is it because, happening maybe because now? It's been, it's been a long time in this and the sleigh house is like a legend. It's an urban myth now. Yeah. So, and they are walking through the wood, the sleigh house woods. That's what I'm saying. Like, remember, stuff, remember so. when we were kids and we'd go and we'd go do stupid stuff. Remember, yeah. we'd go do stupid stuff, and you'd find, oh, that burnt-out house over on yeah. such a road, and you'd go and ride your bike Crazy with your Larry friends. Crazy Larry or something, you know? Yeah, right? And you're like, oh, <laughs> you know, I had so many houses and places like that in my childhood, right? Yeah. That's what that is for them, and they all go there, and yeah. then, you know, that's... And then and then Millie uses that one kid as a pawn, you know? Well, just... remember, first of all, I couldn't understand the song they were singing. I, like, picked out words for some reason. I couldn't understand it. Yeah. And they were eating him. And he's like, yeah. yay! And he's all bloody yeah. and everything. Like, did you see the other kid with like the, like the cap on? It looked almost like a snowman, like was drawn yeah. on it or something. Yeah, like, I was kind of bugged out, dude. Yeah, the whole thing. And then like Chris, those kids are creepy. Yeah, she's was, running around with a sword. And... It was wicked, man. It was it was wicked. Yeah. It's just, um, yeah. I, you know, um, so you know, we got you know, you got to see. You know what? There were a couple moments I liked in this, in this, um. Uh, well, I mean, so wait, hold on. That's it. That, so that's it on the questions that we did receive. Although we did receive like, uh, you know, some comments and stuff like one from, from Kevin on, um, YouTube says he's so excited for season two to be underway and he hopes it's going to be as good as the last, you know, yeah. Manx is going to be out for blood. So, uh, thanks Kevin there for the comment. Is. Just, you know, highlight some comments from you guys. Um, a couple of moments I, I enjoyed and then, you know, you can, you can jump on after, but yeah. I liked when. I liked how she, uh, Vic, told her son Wayne everything, like basically everything. I mean, not everything, but she explained to him about her that, father, Craig about and the stuff. this was your father, this was what Manx did. Like she didn't keep yeah. it from him, you know. Yeah. And that that's heavy. That's actually because you know in these in these shows and movies, like they never tell yeah. the kids anything, and the kids like, what's going on? They're like, just go to your room, trust me, you know, like all yeah. this stupid stuff. I'm so. I thought that was interesting because now the kid knows that's out of the way, right? Yeah. I also liked when she's grabbing the cell phones and it showed the static. Like that was really cool, you know, like yeah. that little effect. That was actually pretty cool. I'm, I'm like, uh, you know... <laughs> go ahead. Oh no, no, I was gonna say I think that's probably the only thing I liked about Vic in this whole episode is the fact that she told Wayne the truth. Yeah, right. I was like completely annoyed by her this whole episode, honestly. Well, I mean, and you know, and that's what you were supposed to feel. You were supposed to see. No, that but it's she's... not even. It's not even just like it's. It's the fact that look at what she, like the first thing I thought when she threw all the phones in the oven, and just takes off and leaves her kid in the room is like, what are you doing? The house is gonna fucking burn down. Right. And I was thinking to myself, like, if they don't make the house burn down, I'm gonna be pissed because <laughs> that should exactly happen if you well, did what she right, did by throwing right. all this something plastic has to happen. into the. Yeah. So. Um, I was, I was really, I mean, let's, let's see what happens in the future, but I was really annoyed with Vic, especially when she was telling Lou, you know, how much she cares about him. They have their morning she's wishy -washy, loving. Right, she's wishy-washy. And then she's they go like... to the hotel, and she tells him how she feels, and we're team this and that, and, and then she gets up in the middle of the night, grabs a bunch of liquor, Oh, and she tells then? him she's not going to drink, and then she leaves Yeah, and tells Wayne, you're safer with, with him, you know? So it's kind of she. She's like a spitting image of her dad, for the most part. Well, that's the thing. That's 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 the point. Is that she's yeah. taking after her dad and the way to for her to solve yeah. her problem. Listen, she's completely screwed up. Oh, like, I know. She's just know. Be, not not only because of her home life, but also because of her supernatural powers. Like, she's just you know, she, and and she's only with Lou obviously to, for her son and. It's it's really it's a really sad sad situation yeah. and I don't know. Do you really think that she she doesn't like love him or she doesn't? I I think she loves him at times. And again, I read the book, so like I know where it goes. But yeah. I think I think at this point in the story, she she loves him in her way. She loves him for saving her. She loves that she has a home, and he'll do anything for her forever. Lily, oh, and you, you know? can tell. Like I mean, you and, can tell it. You know, um, so, you know, that, you know, that's the thing. Um, the other thing real quick, uh, I, one thing I didn't, I wasn't too keen on was how quickly she got her triumph. Like, I, I, I kind of wanted it to, you know, I guess they needed her to use, get the triumph and then all of a sudden it's fixed. You mm -hmm. know, in the in, in oh, again, no, I had a beautiful paint job on and everything. Yeah, not to compare, Brand but in the book, I think yeah. it takes her a little bit longer to fix the bike. Yeah. And yeah. it's at that point. 
All right. Well, I won't. I won't. It's it's at a different point in the story, so I can I can yeah. already see that they're gonna they're gonna speed things up a bit, and that's fine. Um, but yeah, so she's got the triumph, and yeah. again, I feel like the triumph just came out of nowhere. She's like, oh, I found the knife. I got my knife back. You know, like I just think it all like almost like like the like the bikes found her. So it was kind of like destiny that she, she even was to said find it. it was and, calling to me. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. Everything kind of just snowballed from from hearing his name on the tv to that's what i'm saying her finding yeah. her and they call so it's like millie's calling her and yeah what'd you do with my dad bitch you know like <laughs> i like that though. thanks for the ride lady thanks for the ride lady so <laughs> speaking of ride let's go to uh let's just really quickly talk about the wraith and, and bing partridge so yeah oh, he's a fucking so yeah he, so he's this is like the creepiest oh fucking i know and now he's now. even more creepy and when he just keeps repeating the script that and he he's was pulling given, his pants up like he's having a guy fucking yeah you know, you know, so it's... yeah, it was it was interesting. And he's like, I want the wraith. I want the wraith. And he's like, well, you know, the guy made it into like a flower pot. Like, I was like, all right, whatever. And I was kind of stupid. But, you know, it's interesting is that like in the book, he be... see, this is OK, I'm going to I'm going to say it. so in the book, he, he rebuilds it. That guy rebuilds it with his kid. He's not an artist or anything. He just rebuilds yeah. it and they drive around this field. And as they're driving around the field, the, the, the cars like the radio, plays christmas music and it, like it it kind of like puts them in like a trance and kind of takes them someplace a little bit and then they and then they it, you know and then it just i think it just goes to him it just goes to him so that that may happen you know um you know so he's gonna so make is him... bing a part of that or is bing bing yeah bing is a part of yeah bing is definitely in this second half this is like the second half of the book this season. So I don't know how long this is. I wonder if it's, yeah, be. I wonder if it's going to end with this. Yeah. Because this is curious. technically like that ended the book ends. Spoiler alert. The book midway is, is where season one ends. Right. Yeah. And then this whole next section is going to be the afterwards. Right. So yeah. anyway, yeah, Bing, Bing's a creepy bastard. You knew he, you know, he was going to do what mm -hmm. he did. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just looking at my notes. Um, yeah, me too. Oh, I mean, we so her, covered, she we finds covered, him. She finds yeah, him and stabs yeah. him in the heart. That was and wicked, I, right? You know, at first I thought that she wasn't gonna, he was gonna be gone. Like Bing took him or something, like took the body or something. Uh, especially after she opens up the, the door to the morgue itself, the refrigerator, and yeah, right. he wasn't no there. there right. I thought she was gonna go to that when she saw the body on the table, yeah. that it was gonna be somebody else. Right. Um, I was hoping she was gonna like cut the head off or something, but obviously it probably wouldn't matter. In that case, because yeah. well, again, it's, you once know, it's, Bing puts the once engine, the engine in gets the back car, in, his heart's going to start. Which we saw his heart pumping, was starting again, up. and yeah. So you know, now you're going to see you're going to see this desiccated corpse walking around. That's what's going to be cool. Oh, especially leaving the morgue, it's going to look pretty sick. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Like this show, this show definitely, you know, it, this, yeah. the, the, the special effects in this show are really good. Which, which yes. you know, tell them, tell them. You know, uh, usually Mikey likes to say this, but I'm going to say it this time. We did an interview with John Bruno, who is the visual effects yeah. visual effects supervisor for Nosferatu, as well as so many other shows and movies from the a 80s legend. and 90s. Yeah. Uh, uh, we have an interview with him. It's a two-parter. You can check it out. It's really awesome. He talks about Nosferatu, and then he talks about working on Ghostbusters and Aliens and the Abyss and, and all the amazing stuff that we loved uh, growing up. So, uh, you know, it'll be it'll be um, in the the... the, the videos at the end of this video whatever but uh yeah go check it out it's in a playlist it's in our interviews go check them out it was it's really cool uh now we're in season two so perhaps yeah. maybe we can get him back on he could talk about some of this stuff which would be yeah. really cool i mean we but, saw a lot more of of um the landscape of of christmas land you know it was always it always seemed like it was that that one kind of shot yeah it was always that backdrop. The yeah. roller coaster in the back now we're seeing from almost like a different perspective or a different side of the park yeah, they built they built it out a little more we get to see a little you know what more, i mean we're yeah. starting seeing like more lights and more ferris wheels not just and... like a little not just like the gate in the house and a little bit of houses yeah. beyond yeah. yeah a lot more it seems a lot more of like the actual like rides and stuff that are you know yeah. a part of i'm it. sure we're gonna see a lot more of that stuff which is really yeah. cool plus you know season yeah. two they might have a little bit more budget and you know plus they 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 they're t you know the tricks you know, on how to make things look, you know, they, they, they learned mm -hmm. a lot, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like off, yeah. the, off the first season, which is really cool. And, you know, John yeah. you know, spoke a little bit about that with us too, which is really cool. So yeah. I guess with that, um, I got no other notes really. Um, this was, I, I, I did enjoy the episode. I, again, I felt that it was a little bit 
for me, it was a little rushed, a little maybe a series. But you know what? If it, if you got to get through some of this stuff to get to the meat for the season, I'm just, fine yeah, with just that. as I mean, for for me, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm looking through different eyes, you know, right, because exactly, I didn't read exactly. So I, think, I didn't read the book. So I'm one. I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't spoil it for you because you're anticipating something or you're upset about the pacing or I just hope it doesn't do that for I, you. You know, I really. My expectations are just, you know, stay true to the 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 heart of it. You know, mm-hmm. things don't have mm-hmm. to happen, you know, in, exactly. You know, listen, we've been doing this a while. We've been watching stuff. We've been watching. We all know how this goes. I'm not expecting yeah. it. I'm not expecting a one to one. But yeah. there's some really cool, creepy, fantastic stuff that goes on. Yeah. Um, yeah. That I'd like that I'd like to see these actors do. I'd like to see them. The characters portrayed by these actors go through those things because it's really mm-hmm. cool this is a mm-hmm. fantastic novel it's so it's such if yeah. you haven't read the novel just go read it who cares or wait till the season's over whatever but read it because yeah. it's 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 really good joe hills is is so good at it he's so just you know just like his dad come on man yeah you know yeah so he has, he has good, good uh, steps to follow yeah you know, you know maybe we follow. can even get joe hill on here i'd love to see if we can get joe hill on yeah, we. I mean, we can talk to a, a few people and see what we can we can yeah. do. But I think that's uh, like you said. I think that's about it, right? We got all the points. Yep. I'm looking. Yep. Uh, yeah, guys. I mean, check us out at Third Person Pod on all the social media outlets. We're always posting, um, you know, everything about what we're what we're going to be recording, who we're having on, special interviews, and things things of that nature. Uh, Chris and I just started um, a third person. Nasiratu, uh page on Facebook too. A Facebook group. It's a Facebook, a Facebook group. group. I'm sorry. Yep. So uh, come join check that. that out. You can leave questions yeah. for us there. And uh, yeah, right. don't hesitate. Any questions you have at any time, uh, mm-hmm. you know, we'll, we'll talk about them on the show. If you have comments about the show, we'll read yeah. them out on the on the episodes here too. Just yeah, yeah, we'll post up and we'll just say that you know put put your comments and questions in in the uh, yeah in the descriptions or wherever we're posting we're going to be posting on youtube we're going to be posting on facebook so get your questions in there we love to read them yeah um and yeah nasratu season two episode one i believe there's what 10 did we have 10 Probably. i think in the first season so hopefully uh, we'll get up, yeah. a really good season it's a creepy show it's cool so it's fun stuff thanks for watching yeah and we'll uh, see you next, we'll time, see you next time yeah peace out thanks.